Hey yo, it's good job Stinger, and today I'm gonna be showing each and every one of you how you can make some alternative sounding guitar beats for Destroy Lonely. And if you're a fan of the channel, you know that we don't do any kind of intro filler, no dilly dallying, any kind of hoopla. So with that being said, this is the beat that we're gonna be going over today. <laughs> stupid simple. The first thing that I started off with is the melody, and I actually decided to record my own guitar melody because I prefer to do it that way. But if you're on the look for destroy lonely type of guitar loops, you could search on Looperman or Splice, just like emo guitars or alt rock guitars, and you'll find a bunch of great results. But if you're particular particularly interested in the guitar melody that I'm playing in this beat, I'm gonna be throwing it in the description for free so you guys can do some work on it as well. Just be sure to tag me whenever you make something with it because I'd love to hear it. So with that being said, this is what our guitar melody sounds like. Now this guitar loop is a little bit more clean sounding than most of Destroy Lonely's guitar loops, but I didn't really want to do a direct impersonation in this beat. So instead of adding on like a guitar amp sim with distortion, I decided to throw on FL Studio's Vintage Chorus, which gives it that really nice wobbly sound. And if you want to know how I mix my melodies, you can check out the video in the top right, whichever one right is. And in that video, I go into immense detail on how I mix my melodies. And sorry that there isn't a whole lot to break down in terms of the melody, but there is a ton to break down for the drums. So let's get into that. Now the sauce for these super like low overblown destroy lonely type of beats is to use sub basses instead of 808s by using a sub bass and just cranking it all the way up it's going to drown the rest of your mix but that's kind of the quintessential destroy lonely sound and i'm just using this sub from the starboy rob stash kit and since these 808s have a lot of subby properties it's going to be a bit blown out you don't want to go too crazy on them keep it easy keep it simple that way the rapper will be able to develop a flow and won't be distracted by the 808s so with that being said this 808 is just playing a stupid simple pattern Now there are two things that I want to go over about this sub bass. The first notable aspect is that it's playing some really low notes, specifically this A sharp 4. Generally with my 808s, I don't like to go below like B4 or even C5. And this is because the lower you pitch your 808, the more stretched it becomes to fit that pitch. And once you go below that realm, it just starts to sound super stretched out and muddy. But muddiness is exactly what we want to go for for this beat. So I decided to kick off the 808 pattern at A sharp 4. As for the mixing, it is stupid simple. I just have a fruity fast distortion on the B panel with the mix at 13. 13%. This gives the 808 a little bit of fuzz in the high end and allows it to stand out more in the mix. And then I also just boosted the sub slightly with this EQ. So this is what it sounds like without the mixing. And this is what it sounds like with the mixing. After I had that 808 down and mixed, I threw down this snare. Now all of the drums moving forward are from the filthy and lucrative kit. It does have a pretty high price point, but it has a ton of essential sounds for this new generation of music. And the snare that I decided to use was the rodeo snare. And as you may notice here, similar to the 808s, I have this playing in note below C. This is because I wanted this beat to have a lot of low and gritty properties. And because this snare stands out so much in the mix, making the snare at a lower pitch really does a lot to add to that feeling. And all it's doing is playing a basic snare pattern. For the effects on that, I just have a little bit of reverb as well as an EQ cutting out the lows and boosting the highs. And after that, I threw down a second snare playing a very basic counter snare pattern. And 
And the last two things that I threw down are the hats. Firstly, I grabbed this hi-hat pattern from my Quasar MIDI kit, and that kit contains both hi-hat midis and melody midis, as you can see here. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out in the description. But to put self-promotion aside, let's break down this hi-hat pattern. Now, if you've watched my tutorials before, you know what I'm about to say. Instead of using one half step or one fourth step for the rolls of your hi-hats, I suggest using one third step or one sixth step. Obviously, that's not me telling you to do that for every single hi-hat pattern, but it gives your hi-hat patterns a lot more bounce, and it builds a little bit of suspense with that super like unorthodox grid pattern. So with that being said, I just threw down a variety of rolls using the one third and the one six step. And this is what it sounds like. And the final thing that I threw down is the open hat. I have this hitting on all of the downbeats to create some impact in the beat. And I also have it hitting in correspondence with the 808 pattern. And by using these super like high and bright hats in correspondence with that super low and subby 808, it creates a clash in the mix, which actually sounds really, really nice for these kind of beats. So this is what the hi hat sounds like. And now this is what all of the drums sound like together. So that is going to pretty much cover how to make a Destroy Lonely type beat. I know this doesn't exactly represent the quintessential Destroy Lonely type beat, but it covers a lot of the core components that make a Destroy Lonely type beat. So yeah, with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new. If you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Also consider checking out my Patreon where I post the FLPs to all of my beats in all of my videos. That way, if you wanted to study the arrangement, the mixing, the melody, all that kind of stuff, it's right at your fingertips. And finally, consider subscribing as I post to one tutorial a week and two sound kits a month. Other than that, that's going to be it. Peace.